Hmm. Wow. My brother's birthday. God rest his soul. John William Cronin. Danny, rather. Patrick's still alive. I'm sorry, Pat. I'm tired. It's been a tough road trip, man. I've lived a life that very few will ever know. I don't have time for theories or conspiracies. I have time for fact. Research, intelligence. Not for needless drama. If I want drama, I'll put it in a show or on a set, but not, not my real life. But drama always has a way to find me. Whether I'm looking for it or not, it's just the way it goes. You know what I'm saying? Ah, yes. Why is she holding the cup? Taking a picture of a cup. Hmm. Things that make you go. Hmm. I was obviously talking about the girl uh, at the white vehicle way beyond these two ladies right here, way over there. I think you can see her in this frame. <sighs> kind of cute in the shorts. God, grant me the serenity to do my part to be the change in the world you want to see. To do your will, not mine, always. Because this is your deal, not mine. From infinity to infinity, to have the strength to endure, Courage has never been a problem. Sometimes. Well, then, well, it is what it was and what it shall be. From infinity to infinity, your will be done. It's a little early for Christmas presents. Is that a Christmas present? Oh, it looks like a big candy cane. Sitting on the bench watching you take pictures of your cup. Was that for like a modeling thing you were doing? No. What the hell was that all about? <laughs> He's one of these. I, t I, I network I, I, market. I, 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 I network market for, for it whom? works. It works global. It works on what? It's <laughs> it's a health and wellness company. And so I was doing my blitz cards. Do you have a card card? I do. Cool. Maybe you could help me save the world from its own dumbass. <laughs> Here, hold this. I gotta write my information on it though. Because I'm gotta... doing some films on global warming and sustainable living, and let's stop blowing the shit out of each other. Oh, really? Did you hear what happened in Istanbul yesterday? No. Oh, three terrorist bombers got into the international airport, plus all the police. Oh they got up into the VIP international travel area. They had bombs. They set them off. They also got in with weapons. Somehow passed all the security guards. I've flown through that airport many times. It scares the shit out of me. I have. Three bombs. Also one down in the main terminal and one out in the parking lot. I have a gear for all of them. Nobody wants to listen Yeah, to put them all on a fucking rocket ship and send them to the sun. No. Take, take all our troops back over here. Then you let everybody that is in jail on mass murders or 
whatever. Charles Manson's a good one. <laughs> Put him on a plane, ship Put him, him over the there, line. and give him a, give him a gun That's and an say, interesting thought. go have fun. Well, and how about all these people here want to have open, open gun? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jesus, God. And you guys are sitting on, on hell. 60 miles of nuclear missiles underneath you. There's a city 60 miles wide. Did you know that? Where? Pantex. Oh, yeah. I knew Pantex. They've built a city underneath the city 60 miles wide. And while we thought we were doing the stand down during the Cold War, no, they just moved all the shit here and they've been building up more and more. If Putin ever gets wind of that, hell on earth is going to open up from right here. I'll tell you who we should be watching, and that's North Korea. That is who well, we should be. Well, even more importantly, you know who she should be watching? Google Obama and martial law, the military term. They, two years ago, enacted into Congress. All he needs to do is sign a pen stroke. But he doesn't care who gets elected <laughs> because you have to be sworn in to get the office. And they have martial law, and if they declare before the swear-in, we all stand in bread lines like they did in Moscow. And they already have camps built around the United States to house 50 million people. And they have incinerators bigger than they used in World War II here. And it's on the White House website. It's called the Readiness Preparedness Act. So if you're ever thinking of taking your trip abroad between now and January 6th or 7th, whenever they swear people in, it would be a good time. Especially now that the world money market just fell to shit. Yeah. It's getting crazy. So oh, can your company tie in to sustainable living and health and wellness type stuff? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, a health, it's all natural health and wellness. Company. Okay. Um, um, if you Google this guy, you'll find they have tons of stuff about the rainforest. I've done everything from Saturday Night Live to the Today Show. Really? Yeah, if you want to take a picture of it and then Google it later, at least. Um, and I can give you a number how you can get in touch with me. Yeah. So I'm a shy, is, quiet so guy. What are you here for? You, do you live here? Oh, uh, no. I was stopped <laughs> by your criminals with fucking badges because I had California tags on. I had the sunroof down. And after six hours of riding with the top down, he told me I smelled like weed. And he'd go much better for me if I sh just showed him where it was at. And the next thing I know, I'm breaking on handcuffs and oh. two to 20 year felonies because this is the state yeah. for an ounce of fucking weed where a guy just got 16 life sentences. But if you have meth, it's OK. Yeah. The guy with nine pounds of meth only got nine. <laughs> 99 years. I'm thinking meth will kill people. It'll make people want to kill people. Weed, if you smoke, you might feel better and it cures cancer and it won't kill anybody. Nobody gets, oh my God, man, I'm going to kill you. Give me a gun. I'm going to fucking pop you because I just had some bomb ass weed. And no one overdoses on weed. I don't know why. Probably because God made it and it's not a synthetic thing. I'm just saying, the more we get back to natural, picture the earth as a giant car engine. And you know, if you had no water and oil and shit in your car, you kept pulling it out. All of a sudden, those rocks going against each other heat up more and more and more. And I've got actual footage of UN, I can send you, UN ambassadors who admitted to me on film and then throughout my life if I release it, that if, well, I've got the Illuminati pissed off, the Freemasons, the UN, the White House. If I piss off, I go big. Can you hold this for just a second? You know, by Don't the way, go anywhere, man. This is all the video. <laughs> See, I have an identity crisis. Uh -huh. I, was, I was born this guy. Yeah, yeah, James Bond. He has a lot of notes of that guy. Uh huh. But if you see it, says, see this page here, and there's multiple signatures because I'm also known as that guy. Oh. But then I could also be. Well, who are you then? I know. Could, I could be these guys. I could be whoever I fucking need to be to get this shit out of here because I consult with government around the world. So I know more about intelligence and some of this. Oh, yeah. Like. Positive Thinkers Unite. Well, it's like about that. time. And uh, we believe. Brakes. We need to get, you know, people like Trump to put the fucking brakes on their mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Playground of Dreams. That's supporting kids. Arts and entertainment. Too. Not to throw up the brakes. So, if, um, I, did I give you my number? No. You took your phone I, out and you put it away. Well, I took the picture. Uh, yeah, of a cup. And I said, look at my cup, it runneth all up. Are you glass half full, glass oh, half empty? Or? I am definitely glass half full. But the, the, the thing with I what I do with network marketing. Hell, I just go with the flow. Okay. I, just, I have to show why it's. Well, then you show why global warming is a fucking pain in the ass. I've been trying to do it. 310. 924. 0455 or 310. 2139, it's Kurt K U R T Kelly K U L Y. 
and the number one breaking all the rules at Gmail. Because I'm breaking all the rules, yeah. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I just, I'm tired of all this horseshit in politics. So where are you headed now? I am waiting to get inside to the pharmacy when they open because the hospital wants to give me some time alone with codeine because I have a tendency to fall down when I'm around criminals with badges. They came busting into my hotel room. Allegedly, I had drugs and arms and shit in my room. In the Hilton, I was even registered on a different name. They broke in with guns drawn on the floor. I'm like, oh. No, I hands it, it was hands in the air. And like wow. My hands are in the air. Drop the phone. Uh, I'm on the phone with the FBI. No, drop the phone. And when I didn't, they threw me to the floor. I picked up the phone. Who got the phone? Who's this? And they said it was the FBI. And they said, this call's done. Hung up. <laughs> this is how your police department works here. I don't know. If I heard someone was on the phone with the bureau, I don't know that I would hang up the phone. I might at least find out what they were talking about if they were having tea and crumpets or something. Be safe. It's kind of crazy out there right now. But text me your stuff and take a look um, at the links we have out there. And if it resonates, let me know how we can make it work. My pleasure. And I don't know your name. Cindy. Cindy. I put my name on the card too. Okay. I'm a hot girl, honey. Oh, I love that. Be safe. Thank you.